In this video, we're gonna talk about how much it costs to live in Germany. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Seth and I create videos about my life in Germany. In this video, we're gonna talk about how much it costs to actually live here in Germany. Now bear in mind that where you live is gonna affect how much it costs to live here, okay? So if you're living in a big city like Munich, it's gonna be more expensive to live here than it would be to live in a smaller town or a village. Okay, so bear that in mind. Also bear in mind that I am using euros and I'm using the metric system. So as I am recording this on October 18th, here is the conversion rate for the US dollar to the euro. And here is the conversion rate for the pound to the euro. If you're using another form of currency, you'll just have to look up and see what the, what the uh, conversion rate is. I can't list them all. And this will be a great opportunity for you to start learning the metric system because I'm not going to use the imperial system. Okay, so bear that in mind. Now, typically rent is going to be your highest expense. Okay, and the cost of rent varies widely from big cities to, to the villages. Okay, I'm just going to give you some averages. So in Munich, the most expensive city in Germany, probably, the average rent is about 17 euros per square meter. And cities like Stuttgart, Hamburg, Cologne, the average rent is about 10 to 14 euros per square meter. Berlin used to be relatively inexpensive to live, and it's still not as expensive as Munich, but the average rent now is more in line with cities like Hamburg and Stuttgart at about 10 to 12 euros per square meter. When it comes to bigger cities, Leipzig is still your best value when it comes to rent at about six to seven euros per square meter. One thing you'll find about trying to rent in Germany is that demand is incredibly high and the supply is incredibly low. So especially in cities like Munich and Berlin, you may have 50 or 60 people apply for the same apartment. So it, finding a place to rent in Germany can be difficult. So bear that in mind. That doesn't really have anything to do with cost of living, but just bear that in mind uh, when you're going to rent. Groceries in Germany are relatively inexpensive, especially for staple items like fruits and vegetables, milk, bread, that kind of thing. There are discount grocers like Rewe and Lidl and uh, Real. I personally like Real, at least the one here in Bamberg um, that I've been to is super nice. Um, and they have like, it's kind of like Walmart where they have a grocery section and then they have a section for like clothes and, and electronics, things like that. Now the major grocers like Reve and Lidl tend to stock less items, but the items that they do stock tend to be relatively inexpensive compared at least to the United States. There are what I guess you would call um, organic grocery stores, kind of like Whole Foods in the United States. And, and prices at those grocery stores tend to be a little bit more expensive, like you would expect. Generally, overall, groceries in Germany are quite a bit less expensive, probably 15, 20, 30% less expensive than, than in the US. Hey, if you are still watching this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. If you haven't done so already, make sure you click the like button. It helps me to know what kind of content you like. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so and make sure you click the bell icon. So I've got a question for you. When I make these videos, I like to put shots of the city and, and other shots in it kind of as, as B-roll, what we call B-roll. Let me know if you like that or not, or if you just want me to stick to talking to the camera. I'll do whatever you like, because this channel is about you, it's not about me. So let me know in the comments what you like, okay? Now back to the video. For transportation in Germany, for public transportation, you're looking about 60 to 90 euros a month for a monthly pass for the bus or for the, the metro. Here in Bamberg, I believe I paid 25 euros for a bus pass for a month. So it can vary, you know, depending on where you are. Again, the bigger cities are more expensive than the smaller cities. Owning a car in Germany can be pretty expensive. Insurance, from what I understand, is, is quite high. At the time I recorded this video, the average price for gas was around uh, one euro 10 per liter. And if you're doing math and you're learning your metric system, there's about three, three and a quarter, I think, liters per gallon. So you can do the math on that in your head or like me with a calculator. Taxis can be relatively expensive here in Germany. And I don't know, I, I, I believe Uber operates in some of the bigger cities, but I've not seen any Uber here in, 
in uh, Bamberg, but maybe they might op operate in, in uh, Berlin or Hamburg, maybe the bigger cities, I just don't know. What I have seen that I think is super cool is uh, these car sharing services. So you could be walking down the street or you know you need a car, you pull up the app and it'll show you where a car is. You register on the app and then you can just find a car, you can find where a car is located near you, you know, type in whatever code it is, I think, and then uh, you can rent the car and I believe you pay per kilometer. So that's pretty cool if you don't want to own a car but you still want to use a car from time to time, that's a good option for you. And um, I tried to use it when I was in Berlin but apparently they won't let you use it if you have an American driver's license. I don't know why. At least I couldn't figure out how to use the app that I was trying to use. Maybe it could have been operator error. For utilities, on average, you're looking at about two euro 50 per square meter. When you go to rent your apartment, you're gonna see the Kalt meter and the Vaughn meter on, on one of the websites. Um, as you can see, you can see the Kalt meter, which is the cold rent, and the Vaughn meter, which is the warm rent, or the cold rent, is the rent without utilities and the warm meter the warm rent is the rent with utilities sometimes you'll still have to pay like electricity outside of the rent um, but a lot of times it'll include the rent will include um, you know clean up by a service outside of the apartment and um, you know gas heating heating expenses um, a lot of the time you'll still have to pay for um, internet and electricity. Dining out in Germany can be pretty inexpensive. It's typically less expensive to dine out here in, in Germany than it is in the UK. Um, it's probably about the same as, as dining out in the US, maybe a little cheaper. Fast food will cost you around seven to eight euros, maybe less, maybe more, just on average. And the price of alcohol, price of drinks, is usually, is usually pretty inexpensive. A beer in Germany will usually cost you about three to four euros, and it'll usually cost you about five to six euros for a nice glass of wine. Obviously, if you go to like a fancy club when they're back open after COVID, um, it's gonna be more expensive, but just for your typical pub or bar, you're looking at about three to four euros for a beer and about five to six euros for a glass of wine or a, um, a mixed drink. Coffee will cost you around two to three euros in a local coffee shop. I actually haven't seen a Starbucks here in Bamberg, so they're probably, I guess there, there might not be one. But I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what coffee costs in Starbucks. I haven't been to one since I've been here. Movie tickets will usually cost you around 15 euros, and uh, a premium gym membership is usually around 75 euros. It can be cheaper, but for a really fancy one of the fancy nice gyms, it's about 75 euros. So what does this all mean? Your cost of living is going to depend on your individual lifestyle. You can economize on. Um, where you live, get a less expensive apartment, eat out less, buy more groceries. You know, those kind of things are individual, right? And it's gonna all depend, depend on, on how you wanna live and what your budget is. In my opinion, you can get by really easily in most of Germany, unless you're living in like a small village without a car. So that's one less expense that you would have. I think a single person who makes about 2,000 euros after taxes and social security payments are made can live pretty comfortably here in Germany, in most places. Like I said, rent will probably be your most expensive output, and that can be 40 to 50% of your take home pay or more if you live in a city like Munich, or it could be like 20 to 25% of your monthly income if you live in a city like Leipzig or a smaller town like Bamberg here. It, all, it really just all depends on where you live. That's something to keep in mind if you get job offers from multiple cities. Uh, take into account how much it costs to live in one city versus the other because that's gonna affect your actual income um, from the job. So one job in Munich may pay you a little bit more, but if it costs more to live there, you may actually make less money than you would taking a job, say in Leipzig or you know Bamberg, for an example, Cologne. All, again, all of this depends on your lifestyle. You can come back if you need to. You can get a roommate if, if you need to, to, to share in expenses. So this is just kind of an average of what things cost. Overall, in my opinion, Germany is a, a, an affordable place to live. It costs me about 60 to 65% as much as it costs me to live in Dallas. And for reference, Dallas is about middle of the pack in the US as far as cost of living. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know by clicking the like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so. Until next time, guys, I will see you later.